This is Thomas and in this video I will talk about a new Xcode 8 feature. Um, you can mix now auto layout and auto resizing masks in one project and before Xcode 8 you couldn't do this. So um, I will do it by a small example. I'll direct a view inside a storyboard and in order to see it better I will change the background color and now I want this view to fill the whole, uh, the whole width. So um, if I do not apply any constraints at all, then the view will always have the same width. And if I'm looking on the iPad, I see that is indeed the case. Switching back to, uh, to the iPhone. And now I could just apply uh, auto layout constraints to um, uh, leading and the top and trailing and also the height Oops. and I see there are four constraints and now I have the desired behavior also on the iPad um, the view behaves as expected. However I also have another possibility and for that I will um, delete the um, constraints again uh, all of them and if a view do not have any constraint at all then I see that there is appearing the auto resizing mask that we know um, from storyboards and zip files that do not have auto layout enabled and now this is also available here and now I can just set the constraints uh, the auto resizing masks and I see that indeed um, the view is behaving as expected and you can do this for two things. Uh, first is um, when you have a view that has a very um, easy behavior, for example you have an image view that fills the whole background, then you can just use the auto resizing mask and you do not have to apply some constraints uh, which is always more work. And the other thing is you can just start out with, with the auto resizing masks and then you can apply uh, constraints for certain view trees. Um, however, it's not possible to mix this because uh, now if I have um, another view and now I'm applying constraints, I place it, um, I want to place it horizontally in the container and give it a fixed uh, width and height. And now I want to apply a constraint to the red view and this is not going to work. Mm, vertical spacing, it's still red, so um, within one view tree I cannot make these two approaches, but of course I could um, delete this and make a top constraint to the container to the container margin, um, oh, not trailing, oops, so, and now uh, this is indeed uh, working, so um, then it works. So, um, and one example where it uh, it's really um, a good approach to, to use the auto resizing mask is, as I've mentioned already, is when I have an image view that should uh, fill the whole screen and in order to do this with with um, constraints I would apply uh, for, for constraints but I could uh, just take the auto resizing masks approach and indeed the image view fills the whole screen and I think this is a very interesting new feature of Xcode 8 because it could make your work a little bit quicker in certain situations. Um, however, please remind that the auto resizing masks are translated into constraints at runtime. So that's also the reason why you can't mix it. So that's it for this short um, video. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you like this video and take care.